Hey gamers, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to talk about the system that I really, really love. My first gaming machine, my beloved Spectrum. It is a machine that even after 30 years, it's still in my heart. And I always talk about this machine with much affection because it was the source of my video game passion that I still have today. And after so many years, I still play some games and some of them I still play very often. And that's the topic of the video today. Games I still play in the Spectrum. So let's start. Batman. The 1989 Tim Burton movie was a big box office success. And it's still today my favorite Batman movie. And this game, along with Hobocop, also in the Spectrum, are my favorite video games adaptations for movies, even counting the modern consoles. We start the game in the chemical plant, where the Joker falls into the chemicals, and then we drive in the streets of Gotham City with the Batmobile. The third level we must discover the Joker code. We fly the Batplane in the fourth level. And in the fifth and final level we must climb the Cathedral Tower to face the Joker one last time. This is not an easy game, I struggle to find a way in the first level. And the fourth level where we play with the Batplane is not easy for any means. Flying, driving or on foot, the game always have good gameplay. And in my humble opinion, if, even for someone that don't like Batman, this is an excellent game that everyone will enjoy. Robocop. Just as I said before, Robocop is a perfect movie adaptation. Obvious, we play as Robocop in the same locations, events and against the same enemies as the movie. But the most important, the gameplay. The gameplay is great. We can shoot in many directions and we can pick four different weapons. The graphics are one of the best in the spectrum and the music doesn't disappoint. Just like Batman, I also love the Robocop movie, as so many other great movies in the 80s, such as Jaws, Ghostbusters, Superman, Karate Kid, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, Hockey, Rambo, Predator, Police Academy, Aliens Die Hard. Damn, I'm feeling hold on. Bruce Lee, this is probably the game I play the most in the spectrum. No offense to anyone, I like Bruce Lee, but I prefer by far Jackie Chan, Jet Li and Donnie Yen. The reason I like this game so much is because of the amazing and fast gameplay. The graphics show the Chinese culture that I love so much, with dragons and Chinese symbols. The gameplay combines perfectly action and platforms. We always have two enemies on our tail and overall the game is very well done. It's a short game we finish in 10 or 12 minutes. In fact, one of my early videos in the channel is me playing the game and in that video I finished the game without losing a single life. This is a fun and quick game to play and I strongly recommend it. Hennigate. First, let's get this straight. I prefer Target Hennigate over this first one. Because in Target we can play in co-op, pick weapons and in my opinion is a better game overall. The reason I pick Renegade over Target is because I play Renegade more often because it's a short game, it have 4 bosses and in my opinion it have more replay value. That is the topic of this video. It is a wonderful game, the music is great, the difficulty is on point and after Bruce Lee this is probably the game I finish more times in the spectrum. Midnight Resistance. Midnight Resistance was the first game that I finished alone in my beloved Spectrum. This game is the source of my video game passion that I still have today. We play a Johnny and we must rescue our family and to do that we must fight through 9 levels, all ending with the typical boss fight. During the levels some enemies drop keys that we can trade for weapons in the end of each level. I also play and finish this game in the arcades and in the Sega Mega Drive. Midnight Resistance is one of the best games of each generation and in my opinion one of the best run and gun games ever made. And every time I play it in the spectrum I can't believe how this game with the limitations of the hardware is so faithful to the original. I know that when I talk about Midnight Resistance, the nostalgia, the affection, the passion and the love I have for this game speaks louder. But is one doubted an excellent game and in my opinion the best game in the spectrum. Ninja Commando. This game has nothing to do with ninjas, except the title and one of our weapons is a shuriken. 
It is a shame to say this, but I never finished this game, neither now or when I was a kid. I don't know if the game is hard or if I'm really bad at playing it. It is one of the games that I play the most and the game is relatively small, but I never been able to finish it. I always like games that combine action with platforms and that's why I play this game a lot. Our ninja is always raining and when we kill three enemies we gain a weapon. The graphics are good, we are in space and we don't see ninjas at all. I know that the Spectrum have much better ninja games such as Dragon Ninja, Shinobi, Shadow Dancer, Cybertor, Shadow Warriors, Last Ninja 2, but I keep playing this one because I'm stubborn and I haven't lost hope to finish it. International character. Most of Spectrum players prefer the way of the Splitting Fist over this one, and I agree, I also prefer the way of the Splitting Fist. The reason I play this more often is because I like that we start with a white belt. I always want to do karate, but my parents didn't like the idea. And now that I'm over 40, I don't think it would be a good idea to see kids with 4 and 5 years old with a yellow belt and me with a white one. My son is 9 years old and is a yellow belt and he would make fun of me and then I have to beat him in Street Fighter to show him that I'm still the boss. For now. Regarding this game, it is great. We have at our disposal many many character moves. We play against two enemies and we have a bonus stage. The gameplay both in the fights and in the bonus stage is great. And it is one of those games that I think I'm going to play for the rest of my life. So that's it gamers, those are the games I keep playing in the Spectrum. Please tell me in the comments yours too. As always, I hope you like this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.